Welcome to Rated RR, I'm Richard Ryan. In this week's video, The Breakdown. The Breakdown is where I take your favorite parts of video games and movies and show them to you in real life. This episode, Act of Valor. Not your typical Hollywood film, the movie uses active duty Navy SEALs and not actors. Prepare your men for a bigger fight than what you would imagine. I have positive control of the Ravens. Whiplash, we have enemy QRF approaching from the north. There were actually so many elements that I liked about this movie that I'm doing a two-part series. First up, UAVs. The RQ-11 Raven, or Raven B, is manufactured by Aerovironment. Aerovironment is a leader in SUASs, or small unmanned aircraft systems. Today they set up a demo for me to see the Raven in action. The Raven has a wingspan of 4.5 feet with a weight of 4.2 pounds. It operates by electrical motor with a rechargeable battery for a life of 80 to 110 minutes. The Raven can be operated manually or programmed for autonomous operation from a touchscreen tough book. Its operating altitude is 100 to 500 feet AGL with an operating speed of 17 to 44 knots. They don't require a runway and can be launched and landed on any surface. One of the benefits of the Raven B and other SUASs are they are a decimal of the cost compared to manned surveillance jets as well as larger UAVs like the Predator drone. The Puma is operated by the GCS or Ground Control Station which also operates the Raven and the Wasp. It weighs 13 pounds and has a wingspan of 9.2 feet. The camera has a 360 degree continuous pan and stabilized EO or IR cameras. The total runtime of the aircraft is up to two hours. SUAVs provide ISR or intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance for force protection. Their size, cost and capabilities make them extremely effective at reducing friendly or collateral casualties. The camera systems don't store any type of information on the aircraft, they only transmit it. In the event of an aircraft going down behind enemy lines, there would be no data or information made vulnerable. Here we flew over this guy painting an irrigation tank about a mile away. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video make sure you pull the trigger on the subscribe and like button. I'll be uploading a few more demos of the UASs that Aerovironment manufactures as well as some of the interviews of the guys who have used them downrange. And as usual, if you want a chance to win a 50 BMG shell and a tactical bracelet, leave me a comment below. What's your favorite gadget? And if you guys want to see what the next video is going to be about, make sure you check out the trailer and the links in the description below. We'll see you next time. Spinning that Google money? <laughs> yeah! <laughs>